And welcome back inside Rexall Place in Edmonton, Alberta. Obviously, as an athlete, you're competitive and you want to do the best and you want to be the best. And I guess when it comes to broadcasting, I've always wanted to A, work for TSN and host Sports Center, and B, if there was ever an opportunity to get to the Olympics, it would be definitely a dream come true. I mean, working with Russ Howard is incredible because he's so uh, gifted when it comes to knowledge of the game and seeing things and knowing things that you would never know and even I consider myself you know a pretty good curler and know the game well and he always is teaching me new things about the game that I would never have guessed and that's the pleasure of working with him. I grew up in a small town called Boyle, Alberta just north of Edmonton and my dad put me in curling in small towns there's not a lot to do obviously so my dad put me in curling when I was about nine years old uh, and I love the game and I, I continued to play uh, right up through high school and uh, we'd always go in the uh, high school play downs and then uh, when I got to college and I went to Nate's, I you know, talked to Jules and said I was interested in getting on the curling team and I managed to make that team. And Jules is just great, you know, I remember uh, him as a coach, he's a pretty laid back guy, very knowledgeable and, and getting to see him now on my broadcasting side of things, it's always fun to come talk to him and I actually did a piece uh, during their game that we covered and uh, my hit was on Jules and Kevin just celebrating their 25th anniversary together. Jules was upset he didn't get any flowers or chocolate. Um, but they've been together a long, long time, and I guess the Nate connection is, is really neat. I, I did some counting one day, and I think I had about 60, 69 of my kids had been in provincial playoffs, and, and like, and Kevin had gone to the Worlds and the Olympics, and so every time I go to a spiel, it's nice, because I either, like in this case, see Brian, but most of the time, to see curlers. I told him he should have me up there for, for a guest, but he, he still hasn't bought Check into it. Check out our own NADU hockey team. Saturday the first day of class is a really PM funny start. story because I, I was starting my first uh, chemotherapy treatment the day that we had to go in, and it was very hard to get into the program. They don't accept a lot of kids, and there's a lot of people applying. So I sent my dad, who at the time, I don't know, was probably 50 or 51, and he sat down, and I remember Chris Durham, who uh, still teaches there, said, he's doing the roll call, he said, Brian Mudrick, and dad put his hand up, and he said, you're a little old to be here. Uh, and he kind of explained the story afterwards, so that was pretty funny. The cancer experience that I went through, not once but twice, it certainly makes you realize how hard you have to push and how much you appreciate things in life. And I think going through that has made me a good broadcaster and has gotten me this far because I always pushed. I always pushed very hard. Uh, and I was pretty young when I got to TSN. I was uh, 27. It's been a pleasure having you on this Tuesday morning. Watching Canada Sports Leader, TSN.